Welcome, Gaming Noodle here, and we are about to face the boss of the Black Throne, which is Straga. He's not so much of a tough guy, although it can be slightly tricky if you have trouble aiming fast enough with your portal gun. So, to be honest, before I, before you um, face him, go ahead and keep practicing. Uh, see how if you can quickly aim at one of the uh, aim at something, anything fast enough and accurately. Uh, it will really help you a lot in this fight because that's all that's really difficult about it. If you can just aim precisely, then you've got it in the bag. Lots of trash talking going on between these two. Okay, Straga, here we go. As you can see on his mace's club, he's got a little uh, portal that we're going to need to aim at when the time is right. When he slams down, just try and um, dodge. Again, I'm failing at it pretty bad, but uh, I'm sure you can do it. And then go ahead and shoot at his mace at the portal and then on one in the ground. Remember to make sure that you hold. Actually, no, you don't need to hold it as much. You can just shoot it quick. It should be fine. You'll drop back behind him and you can stab the eye. That's on his back. When he does that, you'll drop down like here, like so, and you just attack him. And that's it. You just do that. That is the fight. There will be some mobs that come out, like now. And you'll want to make two portholes, one on each side. And this is where I would suggest that you hold the trigger when you shoot so that it's a charged portal, not just a regular one. So that when you jump in, you fly up high. You'll see why in a minute. Just uh, go ahead and dispatch of these enemies as quick as you can. And while you're killing these enemies, he will slam down, so you just kind of got to be careful. I usually like to go in the portals then, so that it completely misses me. But he's going to do a move where he slams his mace and then wipes across the whole floor. And like to get to not get hit by it, you use the portals to basically jump over it. Taking me some time to kill these ads. It's done now. Quickly, I missed my opportunity that I could have got a portal on his mace, but I didn't. But see how he swipes it. I took no damage. Because I used the portals. And that time I did. <laughs> and I landed in the portal. Alright, go ahead and quickly shoot at the mace. Stab him in the back. Sensitive eye. What is it with stabbing eyes in this game? It happens a lot. Thing is, once this boss fight is over, it's gonna be a lot of storytelling. This is where it really ramps up. You start to see a lot more cutscenes than you have before in quick succession. It's kind of just filling you in now on what's going on and what happened before in the past that led to the current events. So I'm not like once we kill him, I'm not gonna talk and just let you watch the movies for yourself and and see the story for yourself, which will be soon because this fight isn't that uh, long. It's not that hard. We had some angels that came out, but as you can see, they die pretty quick. It's, it's easy. 
but yeah, um, just doing those simple steps, if you can just aim quickly and precisely on his weapon so that you can then fall onto his back and get his weak point on his back, then you've done it basically. So, um, I'll probably leave it here, let you watch the rest of it because I think this is the last time I'm gonna stab him and he should be dead once we land. Let's see if he is. Slice him up, poke his face. Come on, there we go. Okay, enjoy the cinematics and I will see you next episode. As I said, Straga and the Tower are one. Now let's see how useful I can be. He came to me after his death. Abaddon. Alive. And I wanted so much to believe. I was such a fool. Azrael, you saw Abaddon after he fell. Saw him? I brought him here to Eden. What treachery is this, Azrael? Eden doesn't exist. Not anymore. Ignorant sprite. I bore witness as the first ones were cast out and the garden fell to ruin. I could not let heaven's first gift and greatest weapon simply rot or worse, fall to darkness. I hid it away. The tree of knowledge. Then Abaddon has been to the tree. You must draw upon its gifts now. If some way exists to stop the Destroyer, the tree will show it to you. I never dared use it myself. Perhaps if I had, things would have been... different. And Abaddon was of his gift. That was not for me to know. Each who comes before the tree receives a different gift. Some receive nothing. Others are driven mad by visions. Or simply destroyed. No, I cannot say for certain.